Jerry Jones says that Jason Garrett is not at risk of losing his job. You may ask yourself, well, why? Why? I'll tell you why. Because in the Cowboys organization, being friends, being an ally, being trustworthy is all that matters. Jerry Jones loves Tony Romo. Why? Because Romo was an extension of his family. Romo would vacation with the Jones family. Romo would dinner with the Jones family. Romo was a part of the organization in kind of a non-employer employee way, more, I would say, in a little bit of a dysfunctional way. I would, because in football, end of the day, it's about wins and losses. I'm sorry, we'd like to think it's about more. We'd like to think it's about loyalty and bonds, but really it's about wins and losses. And Tony Romo got the benefit of the doubt from the organization because he was in the inner sanctum. Same thing with Jason Garrett. Jason Garrett serves two purposes for the Jones family, specifically Jera. Number one, he can be pushed around. Jason Garrett is not headstrong. Garrett is not a guy that's going to bark at Jerry. Jason Garrett doesn't have a mind of his own. Jason Garrett is easily pushed around and will not fight back. So he's perfect in that way because that's exactly what Jerry wants to do, have control over his coaches. Who are the two most successful coaches, may I ask, over the last 30 years since Jerry Jones has owned the team? I will tell you. Number one, Jimmy Johnson. Number two, Bill Parcells. What do they both have in common? They both left. Why? They both left because Jerry wanted to push them around, and they said, ah, oh, no. <laughs> no. You can do that to Wade Phillips. You can do that to Chan Gailey. You can do that to Jason Garrett, but you won't do it to me. See ya. And Jimmy left. And Bill left. And those are the two most successful coaches in that 30-year period since Jera owned the team. Jason Garrett can be pushed around, number one. That helps his cause. He's part of the inner sanctum. And so he's not going to get fired. He's easily controllable. And he dinners with the Joneses. And that's why you know the Cowboys will never win anything as long as Jerry is still calling the shots. I have hope that Stephen Jones has more of a distance. I have hope that he has more of a distance in terms of making the right moves. Stephen Jones was the guy in the draft party, the draft war room, saying, we're not going after Johnny Manziel. We're not going after rah-rah guys, star guys, guys that sell jerseys. We're drafting offensive linemen. It ain't sexy, everybody, but this is what we're doing. And this is why the Cowboys have gotten back to actually being respectable and last year went to the playoffs at 13-3. and three. But as long as Jerry has his way, this thing is going to be forever dysfunctional. And he's going to keep Jason Garrett around. And look, I'm not blaming Jason Garrett for Zeke being injured, Tyron Smith being injured, Sean Lee being injured. That's not his fault. But does Jason Garrett strike you as the type of coach that can overcome those types of losses? Of course not. He's a mediocre middling coach. Would you guys mind bringing up Jason Garrett's playoff record? Would you mind bringing up maybe his overall win-loss record? Jason Garrett is perfectly mediocre. Uh. Uh. In fact, he's more than that. He's subpar. If you listed all 32 head coaches in the NFL, I would say Jason Garrett would no would not be in the top half, the top 16. Uh, 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 uh. We were in position uh, at halftime. Uh, uh, uh. We were in position at halftime. We were getting shut out 3 0. Uh. And then at the end of the game, we decided not to tackle anybody. That was fun to watch on Thanksgiving, huh?